Hi Flosstube, this is Chelsea with Sound Mind Stitching. Um, welcome to my channel. This is where I talk about cross stitching, some embroidery, um, always in the context of life as a mom of four, um, wife, homemaker, self-employed, uh, I work part-time. And in the meantime, try to stitch in order to maintain some semblance of mental health, which some days goes better than others. But I'm really glad you're here. Thank you for watching. Um, in the last few days, I've hit 300 subscribers. Um, I think maybe a few past that now, and that feels like a lot to me. I don't, I mean, I know some floss tubers have like 25,000 or something, but that's not my aim. Um, I've just enjoyed the people that I've met and the people who are um, commenting and communicating with me. Um, I like sharing what I'm working on. I love watching other floss tubers, so thank you for watching. Um, especially if you're new. Um, thanks for giving this a chance. If you're not, if it's not your thing, then wow, there's so many other great floss tubers on YouTube who you can watch. Um, and I hope you find someone who is inspiring because um, I don't watch everybody. I watch the people who make me laugh, who entertain me, or who stitch the kind of things that I'm stitching. Um, sometimes it, that's true. It's all true of someone. Sometimes it's not. Um, but we only have so much time. So, um, if this is something that is how you choose to spend your time, then I'm honored and thank you for um, for being here. So I'm excited about today's video. It's been like two weeks since I was here, maybe a little over. Um, and in that time, I did go out of town with my husband, which I mentioned in my last video. And um, I have two fully finished objects. I have two finishes. They're kind of sections, but they're, they're finishes in and of themselves. Um, oh, sorry, three finishes. I, I, I literally just finished something right before I filmed. Like I was waiting to film until I finished it because I had like 10 stitches left. Um, so three finishes, um, several lips, um, a little bit of haul, a great Hobby Lobby find the other day. And um, then I'm gonna share my spreadsheets. So I've got a screen record of me um, kind of explaining what I'm doing as I do it. So if you're not, super into spreadsheets or, you know, it's hard to explain a spreadsheet unless you're looking at it. So I'll save that to the end because some of you might not be interested in spreadsheets um, and that's fine. I love them, but I know it's not for everyone. So um, yeah, and then I guess I'll just go ahead and say now, um, my overall plan has been to, to put out a video once every, like kind of twice a month, mid-month, end of the month. So this is the middle of the month, obviously. It's April 18th. It's actually my husband and my 13th wedding anniversary. Um, I'm filming this floss too because our anniversary thing was our trip last week. So um, anyway, um, I'm hoping to film again like May 1st or maybe May 2nd depending on how the weekend goes um, and show you all of my mania stuff and talk about what I'm gonna do. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I have enough kits and charts. Uh, I have enough things kitted to do something new every day, but I think that might be a little much. Um, I've got a ton of free patterns from some of my favorite designers, which I'll share links to when I get to them. Um, I also have a restart of something I already had, and I have some other um, things that I'm hoping to do for gifts for Christmas that I need to start. So um, I think what I'm going to do is do a special episode on May 1st. Um, or around then and share everything that I'm gonna do and that will all that will be the whole video will just be what I'm starting for May um, and maybe I'll post every week kind of a short video of what I've done um, I haven't decided so anyway today we've got fully fully finished objects finishes whips um, a little bit of haul and spreadsheets um, yeah so um, let's get let's get into it um, first, my haul, really quick. Um, okay, so I ran into Hobby Lobby the other day. Um, I needed to get some something to finish, fully finish something. I'm going to show you, but I always go to the to the aisle with the um, with the floss and the and the fabric just to see what's there. Um, and I found this fabric. This is all Hobby Lobby brand, the Artiste um, brand. It was a dollar forty nine. Can you see that? Look at that, a dollar forty nine. Um, I thought I had everything ready. So it's, I got 
I got seven. I got that was all they had. Um, I'm gonna give some to my friend. They had duplicates of some of them. So I got this gray gingham. It's 32 count Murano car. Um, yeah, 32 count um, linen. A dollar forty nine. Originally five ninety nine. So 75 percent off. Then this is the same gingham, but it's kind of taupe, kind of a light brown. Then uh, this is called fleur. Um, it's kind of a light brown with these white flowers. And then pink splash so it's it's hard to see it's white with like little tiny pink dots um so i got one of each of those and then a second of all of them except the gray gingham um and i was going to give them to my friend sarah who lives like 45 minutes away so her hobby lobby is in a different town um but i told her about them so she ran to her hobby lobby and found not exactly the same but she got more of the gray gingham and i told her that was good because i wasn't going to give her the only one that, <laughs> that i got um so yeah that was some exciting haul um and while i was there like i said i had originally gone to get th something to finish um something for my daughter but my first finish well actually it's the second thing i fully finished last night but um this is my first well so I started, I started cross-stitching again about two and a half years ago in the fall of 2019. And it took me two years to finish my first thing. Um, and um, after that though, I decided to try something, try something small. So I did Christmas on Shelves um, by Playbook Patterns. And I finished it before Christmas and it's just been sitting in my drawer. Um, I also did Plants on Shelves, which is by the same designer and I finished that to hang in my our bathroom downstairs which I've I showed you I think in my last video um I got a some the same frame for Christmas on shelves I'm going to keep it in our Christmas box and put that in the place where plants on shelves is um when it's Christmas so here it is um I'm going to try not to do the glare let's see the ring light there we go um yeah I just love this I did change a little bit I I think when I showed, I probably showed this in my first video because I'd already finished it, but um, that cross it was like a peace sign, which is fine, but I decided to make it a cross. Um, had a little bit of French knots, a little bit of back stitching, but nothing crazy. Um, it's just really fun. It's really quick. It's like 80 by 80 stitches, so um, I'm really happy about this one. Um, I have flowers on shelves by the same designer, and that's probably going to be one of my mania starts. Um, so that was my other finish of 2021 that is now my, well, I guess in my second FFO of this year, I'm hoping to do more. Now, this is the one I'm really proud of. Well, I was going to make it a surprise, but whatever. So this doesn't have glass, so there'll be no glare. This is for my daughter Zoe. Um, her birthday is this weekend, and I've been done with the actual pattern for a couple of weeks, but I finally decided what to do with it. Um, I bought a piece of unfinished wood from Hobby Lobby um, and I just painted it white with acrylic paint and then I sprayed it with kind of a acrylic clear, a clear acrylic seal and then um, mounted this with some felt behind it on sticky board and then hot glued it to the wood. So this is kind of the first thing I've ever finished like this. Everything else I've ever finished has been um, in a frame. Um, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope that maybe she will keep this. Um, I mean, you know, it's a little cutesy, but it'd be the kind of thing that would be fun to put up in your own house at Christmas, um, assuming it can survive. So um, I'm going to wrap it and give it to her on her birthday. She's already seen the completed piece, but she hasn't seen it fully finished. So I'm trying to keep this secret. But this is such a fun, this is by um, Tiny Modernist. And it was, I think, originally a stitch along. Um, it's on 14 count Ada, the color is toast. The original, um, originally I think she stitched it on like a 28 count gingerbread, but it's about the same color. Um, all the called for DMC, except for like one gray was a little different and everybody pretty much looks the way they're supposed to, except um, if you've not seen this when I first showed it, this little elf right here is meant to be um, the Zoe elf. <laughs> the Zoe, she wanted it to look like Elsa, but she wanted it to be her. So that's the Zoe Elsa elf. Um, this was really fun. It was, it was a joy to stitch this for her and for her to see the progress. And I'm just, it, 
I forget that when you finish it, like fully finish it, it's like, man, that was totally worth it. That looks so good. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really thrilled with that. I don't, the lighting is just awful. I've just come to accept that I'm never going to be able to film during the day as long as I have a family. <laughs> so I just have to film in my room in the evening and the lighting is just not great. So I apologize. Okay. So first finish, um, my big goal for April was to finish the first part of Nutcracker Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. So if you're not familiar with this pattern, um, it is an 11 part series that started last November. A new section is coming out every month and the middle section is the in beginning one, Clara and the Prince. Um, and then all the remaining 10 sections go around it. So this is, I finally finished Clara and the Prince. This was a bear. Um, this was my first time really working with um, linen and it has a, it's bell, 32 count Belfast linen raw silver. So it has kind of a silver thread. And I just, I finally just realized I just need to keep my like reading lamp right on it. And if I do that, it's fine. But it took me a while to figure that out. So here is what I have. Um, yeah, so this is the beginning. I it's It calls for, well, it gives you DMC and um, classic color works. I'm doing kind of a mix. Um, and I did change Clara to look like my daughter. So she's got blonde hair and blue eyes. Um, and I did make a mistake. I think I shared this a few videos ago. Like the people, Clara and the Prince are like one stitch down too far. They're supposed to have three rows of snow under their feet and they only have two, but everything else is, is right. So it's gonna be fine. Um, so the next, right now, let's see. There's five, the newest pat, the newest section just got released. So the, there's the four across the top. All of those have been released. And then I think the fifth one goes down here on the side. Um, that one, I just saw it today. Um, so this is, this has been hard, um, but now it's all just like houses and little people next to them. It's not quite as much counting and I think it'll be a lot better. So, but I want to finish it by Christmas and now I have 10 more to go and I have, if we don't count this month, essentially five or six months to do the 10 of them. So I'm going to try to double up. Um, and I'm, my friend Sarah is doing this as well. She's much further ahead, but it's been fun to share progress and how we're doing on that one. Um, another finish, I'm calling this a finish, but it's kind of, it's a little bit of a sad finish. Um, it's not very big, but I'm doing the frosted pumpkin stitchery under the sea stitch along. So this is also 10 parts, I think, and um, they're releasing one part a month. It's not as big as the one I just showed you. So. The first month was just two dolphins and a mermaid. And I've seen a lot of other people um, stitching this. So um, yeah, so the two dolphins I did pretty much like it said, except I did do French knots for the eyes instead of an X because um, I don't know if any of you watch Mouse Potato Designs, but she, she was talking about one of her charts and it had mice in it. And she was like, I'm not giving them an X for the eyes. That looks like they're dead. I don't want to have dead mice. And that made me laugh really hard. And so I was like, you know what? You're right. I'm going to give them French knots. I don't want them to be dead dolphins. I did the same for the mermaid. Um, I did not stitch her according to the pattern. Um, she's supposed to have like pinkish hair and kind of pinkish or purpley hair and pinkish purple fin. But my daughter, I showed it to her and she was like, I want the mermaid to have blue hair and a blue tail. So that's what I did. Um, the hair is Gentle Arts um, Deep Sea, which I stole from a different kit of a different pattern that I'm using. And her tail is, uh, it's a variegated DMC floss. And then her little like bikini top and her bow are uh, diamond metallic. Um, so I think she's super cute. I'm a little nervous about how she'll coordinate with the rest of the charts, but um, I'm not, I think it'll, I think it'll be fine. I can always change the other colors. Oh, and this is um, 32 count picture this plus Nessie and it's kind of a bluish model. It's really pretty. It looks like water. Um, this was a joy. I finished this when I was landing, we were landing in the airport in Washington DC. I worked on it. I'd already started it, but then I worked on it the whole flight. 
and the whole time we were at the airport waiting and I finished it. So that was really fun. That's a fun memory for finishing that one. Um, and the next part will be coming out next week. So I'm excited to do that. That'll be like one of my mania things will be to start and finish the second part. Um, my third finish, this is a legit finish, like an actual full thing. Um, this is from Al Forest Embroidery. It's not in and of itself a pattern. It's a free, there's a free chart of Easter baskets that kind of can be finished like eggs, like little ornaments. But I pulled out the ones that I liked. It also came with um, an alphabet chart of the English and Cyrillic alphabet. And um, I kind of made it my own thing. So I took all six, this is, this is 14 count light blue Ada. I took all um, six, I picked, there were eight baskets. I picked six, two of them had blue flowers, so I didn't do those because it was gonna be hard to see. I just pulled similar colors from my stash. Um, it's really just like five colors, brown baskets, and then um, yellow, pink, purple, and white. And I used the Cyrillic alphabet to write, uh, it's Christos Voskres, which is um, Christ is risen in Ukrainian. And then I, I did put the English kind of in cursive underneath it. So um, this was just something I, I did, I started it a few weeks after the war in, the, in Ukraine started. Um, and it's just been something that has um, just kept my mind on that. And I'm hoping to give it to my friend who's coming to visit this weekend. Um, I think I'm gonna try to make this into like a wall hanging. Like, also this is what I'm using to hold up my pieces, my son's Richard Scary book. It's the perfect size. But I'm, th I'm thinking of like, um, you know, folding it, putting some like batting, okay, a little more of a border than that, and then like a little hanging thing and she could hang it. I think that a frame is gonna be tough for this because it's kind of a weird shape. So that's what I'm thinking for that. Um, this was really quick. The baskets were, the baskets were a lot of counting. You can see like each basket has kind of a different design. Um, but the baskets are really fun too. Like it would be cute to do little ornaments if you did like an Easter tree or something, which is it's not my thing, but um, they're, they're really, really cute. Um, and this is just 14 count blue Ada. I got it from Amazon. So yeah, those are my three finishes. Um, I feel like that was a lot. Like finishing that Crocker Village, that first one was, that felt like a huge sigh of relief. Um, I'm eager to move on to the next parts. Okay, on to my whips. Um, I have three other whips. Um, so I've worked on, you know, all those things I just showed you for a good portion of the month. In fact, in, um, I keep a, part of my spreadsheet is I kind of keep track of what I work on. Um, and this month I spent, now I don't track like time or stitches, but six days working on Easter baskets. Um, four days, oh wait, hold on, in the, uh, under the sea, that was four days, and Clara and the Prince, four days, um, and some of those were on the same day, but, you know, sessions, I should, I would say, four different sessions, um, but I, then I also had three other things I worked on, so the first one was Washington, D.C., um, this is by Awesome Pattern Studios, um, I got it on Etsy. So um, I had started this last week and I worked on it a good bit. I actually worked on this a lot on the bus when we were in DC. Um, it was a good one because there were big blocks so it, it was easy to kind of start and stop. So I kind of just started in the middle and I'm working my way out. Um, and this is kind of a round pattern so I'm going to try to finish it in the round which I've never done. Um, but it's got some fun colors. I changed up the colors based on what I had in my stash. Um, but this is fun. It's going to remind me of my trip with my husband. Um, we spent five nights in DC at an Airbnb. We ate some delicious food. We saw some amazing sights. Um, we rode bikes a lot outside, which was super fun. Um, we got to be just us together with no kids. And for me, the mental load of parenting was removed, which was really, really nice. <laughs> um, so another thing I took, I took under the sea, and the Nutcracker Village to finish. And I finished, let's see, did I finish? Yeah, I finished both of those in DC. Um, but I hoped that I would finish them, so I took the Washington DC chart, and then also, I haven't shown this in forever, because I haven't worked on it, but this is um, 
Parks and Rec sampler by Two Little Kits, who she's on Instagram. So um, uh, these are just my numbers at the top for counting at the beginning. Um, I All I had when we left for DC was I had this whole border and like this back stitching, and I think I had Leslie Knope's hair. But I did all these people, all the back stitching, oh, <laughs> and started on the stuff at the bottom. So I did take a break from the people. The people are kind of tedious because it's a lot of like half stitches and changing colors. Um, but I think this is so fun. And um, a few days before we left for DC, my youngest sister got engaged and she's a huge Parks and Rec fan and I had originally thought I might give this to her at some point so since she got engaged I decided to take this to DC so that I could work on it and um she's getting married in the fall so I think that I can finish this um or I might keep it and give her something else because I really like it and now I've spent a lot of time on it <laughs> so um anyway but yeah that was this one's really fun um Two Little Kits has a lot of very kind of like um nerdy type uh patterns like I just saw she has a firefly sampler that's kind of like this um if you've ever watched that show it's one of my favorites um my husband and I love it so I don't know if I love it enough to do a sampler of it but if you like it then it would be cool um so yeah then I've got one more whip um please ignore the sound of my very loud preteen children out in the hallway um, they've already knocked on the door once and I had to stop and start over. Um, now they're just talking absurdly loudly. Um, this is my last whip for this video. Um, this is the one for my husband. So Christian, if you're watching, you don't, you don't need to see my cross stitch spreadsheet so you can, you can just turn it off. I appreciate your support. Um, I'm making this for him for his birthday. Um, I had a goal to get to a certain point by the end of the month and it, it's only April 18th. I've got 12 more days, but I don't know if I'm going to make it because I think I might have been over ambitious, but here's what I've got. Um, oh, I just realized I didn't say anything about what those were stitched on. Washington DC was 16 count Ada. Parks and Rec is like 14 count Ada. They're just like from Amazon. So nothing too exciting. This is 14 count dirty Ada. Um, I got it from cross stitching supplies. This is one of my first starts um, of this year. And this is a Stitchrobia Emma Congdon um, pattern, and it will eventually go almost to the bottom. But I've basically finished most of the top part. Um, all, all the motifs, like the carrot, the sun, the bee, the clouds, the can of water, the trowel. Right now I'm kind of working on these, so I've still got some of the leaves of the sunflowers. Then I've got to finish the sign um, and fill it in, and then there's like roots underneath it and then some pots. I was hoping to get all of that done and there's like a little garden greenhouse over here. I don't know if I'm going to get all that done in April but um, that I don't think I really divided it up that evenly so I think it'll be okay. Um, I, I enjoyed this one. I've been keeping this one in our room because um, I usually go to bed before my husband so after I come upstairs I work on it and he doesn't see it. Um, I try to work on something else when we're downstairs together even though He's not the most observant person and he he doesn't really pay attention so um it's fine but um yeah so those are all of my whips um and that uses dmc um but yeah that's all i have for today in terms of stitching um i'm going to switch over and show you my screen record of um my spreadsheet so i'm going to record myself with my phone but screen record on my computer, I think. I'm hoping this is gonna work. Um, but I'll be back at the end to um, close off. Okay, so um, this is my spreadsheet. Um, the first tab, you can see the, the parts down at the bottom, is um, my floss inventory, which is severely outdated and I need to update it. Um, but you can see I keep, I have the DMC color. Um, I'm kind of trying to figure out this part. I have the form it's in. Is it on a bobbin or a floss tag? Is it in a kitted project? Is it in my floss box? And then which project bag it's in? Um, and
then you can see it goes all the way down but some of them like I don't own so um, like my friend just asked me if I wanted some of her extras and I was able to see that like oh I don't have any of those colors in anywhere either in my floss box or in my kitted projects um, this was an old this is where I keep track of ones I need but those are all old um, here is my schedule so this is my goal for each month um, I have not added any of my future mania starts over here um, but you can see my goal here is to FFO Christmas. I did that. Woohoo! Um, I did finish the flowers. I have not FFO'd that, so there's that. Um, this is what I'm trying to finish in in the garden. Santa's house, finish that. Um, I did work on Parks and Rec. I worked on Washington, D.C., and I completed Under the Sea Part 1. Um, this is my tentative mania thing. I'm, I'm not sure about this yet. Um, project details is where I keep track of everything and I keep a link to where I got it from. I keep track of the stitch count of the fabric um, I'm using so that I can remind you in case I forget. Um, I keep track of the status. So actually I need to update this. Christmas on shelves is FFO'd. Beauty of the Beach. That was the first one I did. Um, oh, Easter baskets is completed. Um, and let's see, where is Santa's house? Yep, Santa's house is FFO'd. Those are supposed to turn a different color and I don't know why they're not, but anyway, okay. Um, yeah, so that's where I keep track of all that, all the important details. This also helps me when I'm putting the, making the description for the videos because I have the links to the patterns right here. Um, it's easy to find. Um, and then finally, I have my calendar. So a minute ago when I was telling you the days that I worked on things, um, this is where that was coming from. So I, I deleted, or wait, did I delete March? Hold on. Nope, I didn't. Okay. So there's March. Um, so I actually need to update this because, um, I changed, I'm ch changing these orange when I finish them the check that I finished them. So there's that one and then this one needs to be orange as well um, so that I can go back and see. Um, but yeah, so those are where I can keep track of like what I worked on. So you can see like almost every night the last week I've been working on in the garden. That's kind of been a new thing. Um, I've been trying to finish Easter baskets um, and there's Parks and Rec down there. Um, I'll be adding the new charts that I have for Mania onto May. Um, and yeah, that's my spreadsheet. So I have, you know, all these different things I can keep track of. The floss inventory is helpful because, um, you know, if I get a chart, I can look and see if I have it. Um, sometimes if it's just like I need a little bit of it, then I can, um, you know, grab some from a kitted project and just put some on a floss tag. I don't need a whole skein of it. Um, it does require some knowledge of spreadsheets, but um, it's not too difficult. Um, I'm happy to help if you'd like to make your own or you can copy. I can make a copy and send it to you and you can edit it. Um, I do have some other tabs here, fabric, that's not updated because I just pulled a bunch of fabric today. And I do have this wish list of um, charts that I'd like to get um, that I've seen. Um, I can't start anything new. I'm keeping with what I have, which are all free charts or charts I already had, um, with fabric I already have and floss I already have. I'm not doing anything else until I finish stuff. So my plan now for the rest of this month, um, if I look at my schedule, my big goal will be to work on in the garden um, and to get Easter baskets finished, fully finished this week. Um, and I don't know, if I just focus on in the garden, I might be able to get all that done, we'll see. Um, the rest, I mean, I can kind of explain the rest of this, like black means, like I'm not gonna be working on it because it's done. Um, I have times when I wanna complete things, like flowers on shelves, I wanna complete it by the end of the summer, but I don't really know why. Um, all, all of these that are FFO, those are because those are gonna be gifts, so I need to finish them. Um, 
Some of them that are just kind of blue or pink, that means like it doesn't really matter when I work on them, but I need to finish them by a certain day. Um, these again are all in Nutcracker Village. I can update this. Um, it's Mother Ginger is the newest one. Um, so I'm not gonna be starting that anytime soon because my next starts will be the tea room and the sweet shop, which are both above one and a half. So yeah, um, that is my spreadsheet. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will answer them. Well, I hope you enjoyed my spreadsheet. Um, if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really like spreadsheets and it brings me a lot of joy to keep track of my cross stitch that way. So um, yeah, if you have questions, you can leave them. Um, I'd love to know what you're stitching on, if you're stitching on anything I'm working on or um, have anything you'd like to share. Um, I loved meeting new readers or new friends who are readers in my last video. I, I had hoped I would catch some with my um, list of audiobooks that I love. Um, I just finished um, that Deep River book that I was talking about in my last video. It was so good. Um, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I also just finished a book by, um, it was by Louise Penny. I've read all of her Armand Gamache books, which are kind of like mystery books, but she just recently read a book with Hillary Clinton, which was so bizarre to me when I saw the title that I was like, well, I'm going to listen to this because I don't even know what this is. And it was, it was pretty good, kind of a political thriller. Um, but yeah, um, I am hoping to finish my goals for In the Garden this month. Um, I mentioned in our last video, or I don't know when, my last video that my husband's job responsibilities are about to change. Um, he's currently the co-pastor of our church here in South Georgia, but he is, um, there goes my nose again, he is about to be kind of in charge of, well the only, I'll say he'll be the only pastor, our other pastor is going on a, a break, um, and so it's about to be really crazy and our kids are, have about a month and a half of school. Um, I'll still be working part-time like I do right now, but all the kids will be home. Um, this is a time of the year when there's like end of year stuff, right? Um, award ceremonies and um, concerts and we've got a kid in band. We have another kid in Boy Scouts. Our daughter's only in pre-K, but um, she's got stuff. There's field day at school. Um, <sighs> she has a birthday my oldest son my second son has a birthday there's mother's day there's other family birthdays there's just like a lot going on um so anyway it's gonna be busy but i'm i'm thankful for stitching because i i feel like it keeps me grounded um if i can just find some time to stitch in the evening that tends to kind of bring me down um from whatever high i'm i've been at um in terms of my anxiety <laughs> so um, I hope that if that's true for you, that you find time to stitch what you love, um, that you feel the freedom to put away things that you don't. Um, thank you again for watching. And I, again, I hope to be back at the beginning of May with some of my mania plans and starts. Um, if you're doing mania, I'd love to know what you're planning. Um, I've never done it before, but I think it'd be kind of a good way to jumpstart my stitching for the summer. So. Again, um, I will see you in a couple weeks um, and happy stitching.